Hey guys, Cautious Pancake here, and if you want to force zombies to crawl through your 7 days to die horde base, you can do it with a row of the same repeated block, using either the wedge tip, the ramp tip offset, wedge narrow low, or the wedge tip stairs blocks. If that's all you need, then happy building, but if you'd like to stick around and see how different block mechanics affect zombies and their crawl, then let's get into it. In my last video, the maze crawler, which I'll link to at the end of the video, I demonstrated one way of using the crawl mechanic when combined with dart traps. In that video, I used a two block combination for the crawl mechanic, which was the two middle blocks of the wedge narrow series, the wedge narrow low and middle. To arrive at that, I started with the four narrow blocks in sequence, as the theory was that to get the zombies to crawl by reducing the space they have to walk through from two blocks down to one, you would need to do it slowly and carefully so they don't get stuck and start smashing up the place. And after that, I could have a run of full blocks that the zombies would continue to crawl under. While this worked great on a quick test, there's two major issues with this design. The first of which is dogs. Dogs don't fit under a single block gap like this and will always attack the blocks, like shown. I'm using frames for quick demonstration, but the same applies for other materials. The second problem then comes in with dogs attacking the blocks at the start. Once they have destroyed a block and created a gap, the zombies will stand up and constantly attack the full blocks as there's nothing to force them to crawl again. So the answer to this was to remove the fourth block in the series and use a three quarters block for the run out. This solves the problem of the dogs, but if something else goes wrong and a cop blows up or similar, then there's the same problem that the zombies will stand up and start smashing on the blocks again. The next iteration of the design was to replete the sequence of ramps so that if there's a break, there's only two other blocks that need smashing before the zombies will go back to crawling. Then finally, if we can do it with three blocks, I tried getting it down to two blocks. By removing the third narrow wedge and just using the first two, which worked for the taller zombies, but Arlene would either just wander straight underneath or have issues. That meant that we needed to keep the third block. So instead, removing the first block and testing works just fine for all zombies, and that's how I ended up with the two block approach. After finishing that base though, I thought that there's got to be a way to get things working for a single block, where it starts narrow enough that the tall zombies don't want to smash it, but it blocks off low enough that it will still force the shorter zombies to crawl consistently through. After testing a bunch of different blocks that didn't work out, it seems the trick for crawling seems to be any block that starts smaller and gets bigger and blocks off half of the block on the larger side. The four I had success with were those I listed at the beginning, as they are successful at forcing all zombie sizes to crawl, but also letting dogs underneath. However, I'm sure there are more. It's also worth noting that this won't work well for wolves and bears, so please keep that in mind. That's it for crawl blocks. I hope this has been useful for your future base designs. Thank you for watching and happy building.